why I have them on him. Neither can my guess, that's why I have them on him. Neither can my guess, that's why I have them on him. Welcome to another episode of I Can't Make This Up. I'm your host, AJ Dunk. You can find me at AJDunk.com. From there, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, all available from AJDunk.com. The only thing that's not on there is my Snapchat. The name is Wet Laugh. That's the only one that's different. On AJDunk.com, you can find my YouTube page, which has a soup of the day that's updated daily. Also, you can subscribe and get weekly emails about shows and other content that I'm putting out. I have a special guest here today. All my guests are special. They come on, I can't make this up. Then that's important to me, so I find them to be special. So guests, if you would, please introduce yourself. What's poppin' everybody? It's the Street Wolf. J Legend of the J Legend Effect. Uh, yeah, man. Just find me on all social media at J Legend 100. So, in today's... In today's episode, we're going to go back to, it's been a while since we've done an episode together, but we're going to touch on something that's going on that's serious in the world right now. So Jay's going to take the time right now to explain to everybody uh, the situation of what's going on in Charlottesville, Virginia. Again, now everything started moving forward again. So 
uh, the statue was going to be removed. Uh, some people were arguing that it shouldn't be just be removed. It should only be relocated. And according to some of the people, people I spoke to, I don't know if the next thing I'm going to say is 100% fact because I haven't had the time to look this part up. But I was told that the way the judge looked at the whole situation was trying to give both sides what they wanted. So, yeah, they'll remove it, but they will relocate it somewhere instead of just trashing it all together. That's what I heard um, from somebody. I don't know 100% if that part is accurate, but I do know that they do did have to move it, and that's what sparked this whole uh, not. To me, it's, it, to me, it's beyond. It's, it's beyond just a protest. Like, you know, it's, it's gotten to, in some areas, it's become, you know, riots. So that's the, the basis of what it is. And uh, I don't know, AJ, if you want to give your opinion first or, you know. Um, well, I like to say that the way that this event has happened is it wouldn't have gone down another way, I feel, if the people were of a different color. Um, to have this many white Americans marching at nighttime with torches is ridiculous and then the videos that i've seen where the young the young woman ended up dying because the guy was driving a car through a crowd that didn't even take place at nighttime so that just shows how long the span that this has been happening and the fact that with the police like any other things that have been going on it, it, it hasn't lasted this long. There's been more violence, more injuries. It just seems like the people that are doing this protest are well or more protected than other people that are doing protesting. It just it, it, it has me sitting in a different in a different way. And then also the way that Trump is responding to this. And then we know it's a serious topic when you turn on the news and that's taking up every story on the news. Nothing else is even coming up. And I like the fact that it that it's not just about white people. It's Nazis and other hateful groups. Because there are white people that are jumping up and fighting against this. The the woman that died was a white woman and she was not for what they were standing for. She was out there uh on the other side against the protest that they were doing. So there's a lot of mixed things that I feel about this whole situation. Yeah, well, um first off, I want to I want to 100% give this this clown, this, I don't even know what you want to even call him. I want to give him his just due. Because if this is any sort of minority, man, you, you even have, you, I hate to say this, but even when it's well, mostly, all, all the time when it's a minority, if one of us, if something happens with the police killing us or riots and all of that, and you could be a flat out victim and they'll put like a mugshot up of you. And they want to talk about you smoking weed and all kind of silly shit that have got nothing to do with the tragedy, right? Bro. So this, this clown is just, just dude. His name is the 20-year-old James Field. James Fields with an S on the end. He was a white supremacist. Fucking okay, clown. I don't even want to call him that. To me, they're terrorists. Like, I don't know how they're not terrorists. How do you die? Why, why are they not terrorists? Why is it? Why are the KKK or any one of them are not? Why are they not terrorists? I don't understand this. That's one thing. One of the things that I noticed that really pissed me off about this whole situation is the point of a lot of these racist people who was out there doing all this clown shit, you're running around with tiki torches you got out of the Home Depot, my man. Yeah. How are you a white supremacist, but you went around with tiki torches? They're like, I don't even know if anybody caught that. You got a tiki torch, my man. All of you. 
other thing I've said, because I've touched on this on my podcast, J. Legend Effect, which I said on there, and his, his, the other part that just really gets to me is, how is it that the police can sit there? Now, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that I know guns are legal in a lot of states, and some states have open carry um, policies, which means you do not have to um, hide your firearm. You can be out and as long as you have your permit, as long as you, have, you know, everything's registered, you're allowed to be out in the open with your firearms, right? Last I checked, didn't they put a ban in America on assault rifles? Now, I do think there might be a situation where you had to purchase them. Maybe that law applies to somebody who purchased it by a certain time. But I'm not mistaken, after that whole thing that happened in Connecticut, Connecticut, where that school got shot up, they put a law on that, right? But tell me how is it you have a bunch of people marching with military fatigues on who are not part of the military, with riot gear who are not part of the police force or anything like that. But they can do all that walking around with all kind of weapons during their so-called protest, and no one bats an eye about that? Are blacks and Spanish, are Indians, are Asians, are any of them going to get away with such a thing? Hell no. The police at one point talking about they removed themselves because they felt it was unsafe. What do the police do when they feel unsafe around minorities? <laughs> Kill them. So I don't understand this. I don't understand this. You got Philando Castile in Minnesota who got killed for telling the cop that he had a gun. Tell him is a registered, he's, excuse me, let me rephrase, they told the cop he has a registered firearm in the car. The cop shot him over that. His baby girl in the back seat and his wife sitting there recording the whole situation. Yeah. You let the guy go and the guy sit there talking about, I felt unsafe. When you feel unsafe, you run around shooting blacks. You shoot Puerto Ricans. You shoot Mexicans. You shoot... Um, it, you do all that. Hindus. Oh, it, the list goes on and on. The shit y'all do. You mean it's time around you felt unsafe? So the right thing to do was to turn to your homeboy and say, we got to get out of here? I don't get that. So you feeling unsafe, you felt it was okay to allow them protesters to carry on to go on and beat the shit out of other blacks and Spanish who was there. And even some white people, as you mentioned, um, or, you know, a, a young lady lost her life. You know how I many of them got their ass kicked for sitting there being counter-protesters? But you police felt deemed it unsafe and you had to remove yourself? Now, flip that coin. There have been the minorities marching about a statue and shit like that, and some white people did a counter-protest. Not only was the... Once they were so weapon, there have been somebody dying and getting their ass kicked. Do you think the police would have removed themselves? The police would have removed them. So, and, and this has been documented from you. I'm not just talking because I'm upset or I feel the way. This has been documented throughout the years. Way before I was even born. So, I, I just can't get this for the life of me, man. And I can't get how... So, the next thing I'm going to say ain't going to sit well with everybody. But hold on. You know what I'm saying? What is the, um, what were you saying about the, uh, the person's name that you mentioned? His name is James Field. He was 20 years old from Charlottesville, uh, Virginia. And the reason why I want everybody to know his name. I want everybody to know his name. I want y'all to be able to Google it. I want y'all to be able to follow that. Because he, he, it's not, all these media outlets that just keep saying that a car crashed into him. No, my man. No, say his name. This picture needs to be everywhere the way they do us. That's true. This mugshot needs to be everywhere. They need to do the same thing. Like, get out of here with that shit, man. You can't pick and choose when you want to be upset or when you want to down people. Put mm -hmm. his history out there. Mm -hmm. Even Fernando Castile. Guy did so many great things for his community. If I'm not mistaken, he was a teacher or, or a paraprofessional. Yeah. Um, worked with kids. Some kids have trouble um, learning and stuff. This dude was doing something. All they want to talk about was that he used to smoke weed. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? 
Come on, man. And he probably used to smoke because he was tired of getting all this racist shit going throughout his whole life. What? That's what you want to talk about? Talk about James Fields then. Fat bastard. Look like he does his eyebrows too. Let's talk about that dude. Like, come on, man. That's not hiding. That's not hiding behind the guy who 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 uh, uh, ran his car into the. No. Say his name. Show his picture. They keep showing the picture of the young lady, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. God bless her family. Condolences to them. But don't let the story just be about that. Show his pictures. So do all that. I want to see all of that. Yeah. What's his name one more time? James Fields. James With an Fields. With an S at the end. James Fields. James Fields. Clown, man. Yeah, and like... Clown, man. And, like, what you mentioned also is that any other time they're quick to throw out terrorists or an, or any other... Or thug. Or, or thug. Yep. He's a thug. He smoked weed. He's a thug. The cops killed him because they fed the cell. He was threatened. He was a thug. Look at that guy. Uh, uh, don't, don't quote me on this, but I think he was in California or something. The police was on a high-speed chase. The guy crashes the car into another car. The cops get out and beat up the guy whose car got crashed into. <laughs> beat him senseless. Stomped his ass out. His car is on fire. The person they were chasing gets away, but you're beating up the driver of the other car. The Thanks. guy is telling you, this is my car, and you're whooping his ass. None of the witnesses are saying how the guy, when the police approached, he gets out of his car. His car that was just... Asked, puts his hands up to the cops and lets them know, and they still whip his ass. But then you got this kind of stuff happening. Nobody bats an eye about it. Not nothing. Come on, man. This is out of control. But what I was saying, and I want to say this before I forget it, what I'm going to say ain't going to be popular amongst everybody, and I understand that, but it don't make it any less true. If not, then we'll just leave it at it. It's just my opinion. We do have the right to protest. Whether we agree with the protest or not, everyone has a right. Everyone, the, the, the KKK, all these people have a right to protest us. And I don't mean us like in person. I mean protest their monuments being taken away, their flags being taken away. They have the right to do that. Because ain't that in the Constitution? Ain't that what people have lost their lives over? So I don't have a problem with them being able to protest, even if it's racist. Cool. Because we are going to be protesting for years about things that they are not going to like. But guess what? That's part of our rights as Americans, man. So I don't have a problem. You want to you wanna come out here and, and do all that? Cool. What's up with the violence, though? And it don't sound funny coming from me because throughout my life I've resorted to a lot of violence, but that, had, that was survival, man. It ain't this. So that's where I draw the line. Do, is it okay for people to be running around here with swastika flags? No. But that's more about, that's that's a moral thing, you know what I'm saying? Should they have the right to do that? Yes, yes. Don't take pride in saying that, but it's the truth, yes. They should be able to walk around with their flag and say whatever they want to do, protest about their, their, their statue and all of that. What they shouldn't have the right to do is do so while fully armed and while committing violent acts. That should not be okay. It's not okay for us. If that's the case, we need to start setting up some ass whoopings right now. Agreed. It's not okay for us, man. Agreed. So why is it okay for them? Yes, that's 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 one of the biggest things is that you have to treat it equally. It can't just be all right when these when this group of people does this, we're going to do it this way. When the, these group of people do this, we're going to do it that way. It can't it can't be that way. Now, I don't know um, the events 
uh, I think there was looting and all that with the uh, Eric Gardner. Uh, that's the one from um, St. Louis, right? That's the, is that the one that was killed in the street? No, Eric Gardner was right here in New York. In New York, yeah, with the with the cigarettes and the Lucys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember the I can't remember the guy's name, but the one that happened in St. Louis. They ended up having tanks. Oh, yeah, it was Mike Brown. Mike Brown, that's right. Mike Brown. Yeah. They, they ended up having tanks and crazy police out there in St. Louis. Yeah. Which is, like, these are people. And the way they're being treated is ridiculous. The way that this has happened was ridiculous. It should have been all over the news when it happened. I found, like, I wasn't on, I wasn't on things like social media and all for the weekend, so I didn't necessarily know about it. But come Monday, I knew about it. I should have known about it right then. Any other time some shit happens, we know about it right then. It's, it's not, it's not being treated equally, which is my, which is my biggest thing right now. Like, Trump, Trump jump out there. Call call everybody a terrorist. He's uh making fun of people when he's trying to get elected. He's quick to do this. He's quick to do that. Why aren't you quick to say something about this shit then? How is this any different? It just it's it it's like I don't know. I, I like again. Only thing I can hope is that it brings other people closer together and I appreciate the white people that are coming out that do not support this that are saying that no they're not part of us this is something completely different and you know that's very necessary it's very necessary and, and something with so much uh, like this race this is a race issue there's, there's no getting around it. So, it does take oftentimes for people of a group to come out and say, you I ain't with that. Just like, again, me and you was talking off, off the phone, and I got some, again, I'm going to say that's not very popular, but it coincides with what we just said. It takes even black people, when they see stupid stuff happen, to sit there and say, yo, man, that's not cool. It takes Spanish people to sit there and see that racist stuff and be like, yo, that's not cool. So, I tagged you on, on, on the image that I wanted you to see. Uh, there was a guy also who, uh, n- n- let me double check and see if I have his name. Because, you know, he deserves a little fame too. Um, his name is Daniel Borden. From Mason, okay. Ohio. Yeah. Okay, so Daniel, little Danny boy. Little Danny boy, you little asshole. What I want to give to meet you right now. So, these group of, of, of white guys end up chasing a black guy into a, a, a parking garage. And they jumped him and they whipped his ass pretty bad, right? Nothing cool about that. No need for that to extend to that way, but hey, he needs the fame too, man. Yeah, his name, his name needs to be everywhere too. Um, when I saw that, I had mixed feelings. When I first saw it, I saw the actual video. I felt messed up about it. My heart went out to the to the uh, African American guy who that happened to and everything. My issue with that whole situation was. Black Spanish can't do that shit either. It's not okay that them group of white guys beat his ass into a parking lot. That dude probably was minding his business going about his day, or maybe he was a counter protester. Who knows? It don't mean it had to go that far. And y'all jumping that dude, y'all could have killed him. You know what I'm saying? In the video, you'll see the guy on his knee. You know, he's getting beat up, and I guess he's trying to fend them off or get away from them. But I want to remind people that blacks did the same thing in Missouri. When the whole thing happened for Mike Brown. And everybody could look this up. There was a group of black guys. 
who beat up a young white male who was going into a parking lot, parking garage, to go get his car, go about his day. They chased him in there. They chased him a little bit, grabbed him, and they whipped his ass for no other reason but the whole thing that was going on with the Mike Brown situation. That shit ain't cool. That's not cool because it could be a karma situation. You want to sit there and chase this white dude into the parking lot because you upset about what's going on with Mike Brown? The police killed Mike Brown. Why none of y'all did anything violent to the actual cops at that moment? If you got an innocent white guy going to just get in his car, going to his family, probably scared of Reddy because he see all that's going on, and, and y'all beat his ass. Very true. Now, now, now we turn around and now there's white people do this to black dudes. Let's not play too much of victims out here. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I see it that way is to say this. I'm looking at a post also with a, a bunch of black males getting upset at another black male for saying, hey, we have to do our part to end racism too. Just because they call us niggas, just because they call us spicks, just because they call us wetbacks, just because they even call um, the Indians and Native Americans, they get they call they red skin and all that shit, but the other Indians, I'm talking about from the Middle East, they get called sand niggas. So at the end of the day, because they turn around and call us any of those things, they don't make it okay for us to turn around and call them honkies, call them crackers, so on and so forth. Agreed. So this is what I'm just saying. What's going on in Charlottesville is wrong. It's out of hand. You got a clown-ass president who ain't even denouncing it, talking about, oh, everybody's equally... Uh, at fault here. No, no, we not. No, we not, bitch. No, we not. But at the end of the day, it's just one of those things that we have to do our parts to to end some of that. We can't fully fight the racism with racism. That shit don't make no sense. Because where does it end? It's not going to end with us, and I'm not saying it began with us. I'm just saying we got to do our parts when it comes to that. Am I going to say don't protest or... Or don't riot and stuff. No, I'm not going to say nothing like that. I'll be a hypocrite if I said that. But I do feel this way. We have to do our part too. We can't ask for everybody to give and we don't give. That's true. It's a lot of stuff we do to our very own. I often see the situation like a big brother, little brother. Like you could kick your little brother's ass, but nobody in the street better not try that. That's not cool thinking, though. It's not. So you mean to tell me us blacks are Spanish and I'm guilty of it too? Could be violent towards each other over pettiness? But you, but, but y'all better not act this way towards us? White people better not act this way towards us? No. It can't be like that, man. It's counterproductive. And if you're sitting there because you're upset about the police killings, you're upset about Trump, you're upset about all the racist things that's going on in the world, and if you take that out pointlessly on somebody who's who has nothing to do with nothing, then you just encouraging the bullshit. You're feeding into the stereotypes. If a man sit there, a white man stand in front of your face and call you a nigga, call you a spick, and you want to put your hands on him, I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to. Do I want you to? No. But if that's what you got to do, I can understand, because I can only imagine how old are you at, right? But what I'm saying is the pointless shit where you got dudes just walking, going on about their business, you gonna start beating up random white people, white people beating up random black people, random Spanish people beating up random Asian people, so on and so forth. That shit is corny, man. There's nothing cool about that. You adding on to the stereotypes. You adding on to the bullshit. And overall, you adding on to the hate. And that's what we got to stop. Because I would never tell somebody to stay hit or stay disrespected. But I will tell you, don't go and do this. Start the shit yourself. That don't make sense, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I agree. I agree fully. And then, now that, now that you mentioned that, I have a clearer understanding in way that I can express how I feel about the situation. Now, if you pulled the fact that they were Nazis out of the situation, if you pulled um, 
I don't know how many firearms and weapons that they had out the situation. If you pull the tiki torches out the situation, you have a regular protest. And they feel this way about a statue being removed. There is no violence. There is nothing wrong with that situation. But when you pull all these factors into it, that's when things change. And it's just like, be respectful. Be respectful beyond just how people look. Listen to what they have to say and then go from there. There's so, there's like, the shit happens all the time. It's just all the time. And we just, ha we can't, like, all right, we have to treat each scenario different. But we have to look at it the same way. We can't just judge because, oh, it's this person doing it. Oh, it's that person doing it. It's got to be, it's got to be more than that. Because, like, remember we had that, uh, we had an episode when you were talking about how they were, um, how they was picking on the kid or something from the neighborhood because he was a white kid? Yeah, so it's the same type of bullshit. We've been talking about this. This ain't nothing new. It's just like, come on, y'all. Like we 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 all live we all live here. What good are we doing to each other by continuing to do this hate and all? It's not helping anybody. There were two police officers who died in a helicopter crash as they hovered around the uh, the protest. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm unaware if they crashed during uh, the violent part or before that. But uh, it's Lieutenant H. J. Cullen and Trooper Pilot Burke M. M. Bates. These guys were killed um, again. I don't know how they felt, I don't know what side they were on, if they even had a side, but they wouldn't be in that helicopter surrounding all of that if it wasn't for the hate, man. That's true. If they didn't have to go around there and look at all of this, these dudes is back home with their families when they shift us up. That's true. You know, they're just pointless shit, man. Just pointless shit, man. I, I just... It's hard for me to wrap my head around it because of how far it goes. Also, I want to also I want to touch on the fact on it matters what news network you are looking at. Don't just don't just go for certain. Um, don't just look at certain news sites or news channels. Get a well-rounded feel of what's going on because certain stations are biased for certain opinions. So if you watch Fox News, they're going to lean more one way. If you watch another news network, they might lean a different way. So don't just let that persuade your feelings. Get a overall feel of the story and what's going on. Man, um, I, I just want you one more time though to give that little ass over his fame. Uh, the, the one who jumped the dude in that parking lot was um, Daniel Borden. Now, now was that so? That was the dude who actually did the attack. That wasn't the good dude who. Uh, he wasn't the victim. I just want to be clear. Uh, no, it's the 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 post says Daniel Borden from Mason, Ohio, is a racist yeah. that assaulted this man. A schoolmate ousted him. He just deleted his Facebook profile. He's on the run. And this this is not the only one I've seen, too. Somebody else tagged me in an article that the father put them out there. The dad was like, we did not raise our child to be, to act like this. And they saw pictures of them at the profile, and they were like, you're not welcome home until you change your ways because we did not raise you this way. And it's real. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that more people step up like that and 
whether they be your family or not, man. And then that's of all races, man. You got to address your family. Like, yo, y'all got to chill with that shit, man. You spreading the hate one way or another. It only continues to grow, man. That's true. It don't end like that. It's not going to end if you don't allow it to end in you, man. I swear, man, not to go off course, but I, I swear, like, since, since I can ever remember, like, I never saw a difference in color in that fashion, man, never. And I was blessed enough to have a family who never even said no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get it wrong, the amount of people, been people, older people at the time, you know what I'm saying, and my family who might say little things racist, not in a hateful way, but they say it. They not right either. But I ain't grow up like that. Like, my parents wasn't like that. Nobody sat there and, and 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 even said it in a separate way. Like, there wasn't even no no undertones and nothing like that. There was ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, my family never raised us like that. Or oh, be, be careful with these black people. Or if you see a group of black people cross the street. No, nobody's ever, you know what I'm saying? It's never... And that, that, all that shit starts with us, especially for you people out there who are parents or plan to be parents. You got to be cautious of all that shit you say. I grew up in my neighborhood saying nigga. They say my nigga, and I say my nigga. And the last few years, I've been stopping even saying that. It's, it hasn't been easy. Sometimes I do say it because I grew up saying it around all my black friends, all my Spanish friends, all, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way everybody talked. But in the last recent years, man, I've done my very best to substitute with that word with brother or boss or something. Just uh, uh, just trying to find another another way. And I damn sure don't say nothing like that around my children. Yeah. Because that's just going to continue to bullshit, man. And I, I just I just want us to do better from this race you can. Again, somebody disrespect your family. Somebody play with how you eat. Somebody put your child in harm's way. That's for you to react to. You know what I'm saying? And you, but you out of nowhere just randomly doing something to somebody because of race? Hey, man. And I, I want to put it like this. If you a white person, and I'm a Spanish person, and I'm just walking up the block, and you and your white friends decide to whip my ass, you might instill in me that all white people are like that. That's very true. And therefore... Because I had a traumatizing moment, I can do one or two things. I can spread the bullshit hate, or I can even turn around and be violent to any white person I see. We don't need that shit, man. Very, very, very true. We don't need that, man. Very true. And that just goes to, just because one's like this, that don't mean they all like this. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. But there are people who perceive it that way, unfortunately. But that's why the senseless shit got to stop. Yes. The senseless part of it. I want it all to stop. But that's not realistic. And again, I don't want to be a hypocrite when I know if someone disrespects me, how I will handle it. But don't be the one disrespecting. You can go on about your day without feeling the need to be racist. You don't have to do that. If so, guess what? Before Donald Trump came, a lot of people were suppressing that bullshit. They weren't freely saying it. Now Donald Trump come in and he prayed off y'all racist ways and got himself in that White House. And look, now y'all can't wait to say nigga. Y'all yep. can't wait to say spick or nothing like that. Y'all can't wait to run around with a Nazi flag. That shit ridiculous, man. I had to go, my brother. I got people waiting for me over here. Um, I just want to, to voice my opinion on that. I'm glad we able to have this conversation. And thank you for having me on your show again. And and just one last little thing I want to touch on, um, because I like to break stereotypes, and that's why I bring people on this podcast for them to tell their story and all that. I do this because where I grew up, I got to see a lot of different people. So the stereotypes that were brought to me via TV and other ways, they were broken by me actually seeing the people in real life. And then some stereotypes will still stick with me. But there's always time for change. 
you don't have to be that way forever. It's it's qu- it's a quick change. Just get to know other people. So Jay, thanks again for coming on. If you want to again, real quick, tell people where they can find your stuff. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, man. You guys can find me on on YouTube. You can find me on iTunes. Jay Legend Effect. And uh, you can find me on social media, J Legend 100. Um, and uh, as I've, I've said plenty of other times, now I want you guys also to go and listen to back episodes of um, I Can't Make This Up. Um, even though this is a little more serious situation, man, there's so much stuff that AJ has that you guys can go back and can fit your mood. And the majority of it will set your mood in the right way, the way we're supposed to be laughing and just enjoying and not worrying about this type of shit thank you appreciate that and and like he said go to ajdunk.com facebook instagram twitter it's all there only thing that's not there is my snapchat the name is wet laugh go to my youtube page see that i am interacting with different people and talking about the same thing with different people so thanks again to jay legend for coming on to i can't make this up We're discussing this topic about Charlottesville. The name's AJ Dunk. Don't forget, laughter's always in style, and let them know, Ma.